Hello guys, welcome to this tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make a procedural material. A material with one input and infinite output, infinite results. Uh, and uh, before we start, I wanna uh, wanna show you this uh, this section of this. Uh, this video. You, you should definitely check this out. It's very helpful. From Andrew Price also known as a uh, blender guru about how ai will change the 3d industry this section is about materials and all so i'm going to show you this section then we discovered substance designer whereby you would spend a lot longer generating a node setup making something 100 percent procedural meaning that there was no camera was involved whatsoever you would make it digitally but once you've made it once, it's very easy to create variations from that. Did you hear that? Once you made one, one of them, it is very easy to make variations of that, as you can see right here. One input, a bunch of different outputs and results with different colors, and it makes it, it make it awesome. So yeah, I'm going to show you how to do it. I'm going to escape all of this. I'll make another tutorial about how to make such pattern. Right now, I'm just going to show you how to make it procedural. Let me show you the different variations of it. Something a bit darker. Maybe you want. Maybe you want something like this. Or even something like this. It depends on you. So how I made that? Like with one in one input. Which is in black and white to these different outputs. So what you need is gradient map. We add one of them connected to our our shape and connected to base color. Now what you wanna do is to click on the gradient editor, go on Google Chrome and I don't know search for wood wooden plank or anything like that. You need the colors. Find what you want, like let's say you want have colors from, from I don't know, like let's say this texture. Very, uh, from this texture, yeah. So oh sorry. So let's say uh So now we need the so what we wanna do is to click on the gradient editor and but before anything before we do that we need to go to search something like wooden black or anything that you want. We need colors. Like let's say you wanna use this texture's colors. You like the colors of this texture. So what you want to do after you clicked on the gradient editor, put it down here and click on pick gra gradient and drag and drop it. That's a bit too much. And now you can see the result. It's pretty cool. If you don't like it, you can click on clear all, pick another gradient. Oh, sorry. Um, okay. So it's kind of cool, but maybe you want you want it to be a bit different so uh, the good thing about this one is uh, when you get your shape uh, try to connect to a level node which i did right here now let's try to change it a bit to alter it as you can see it's changing which giving us even more results even more output which is making it much much more easier and better Let's try it with these other outputs. Now it's completely different. Let's try this one. Oh, this one. Or something like that. This one. Or even this one. which it will make it much, much better and easier and cooler. 
So all you have to do is just to put your hundred percent of focus on your on the shape that you want to make, and the I don't know normal map, roughness map, height map, anything that you want. And at the end, you don't need to do any colorings manually. All you have to do is a gradient map and a texture to get the color samples off. To get the color samples from it. Hope you guys liked it and I'll see you guys in the next tutorial. Goodbye.